In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most slept on offensive schemes in Madden 22, how you can use it as a very simple little concept to beat every coverage in the game, and that is the Trio Y Flex out of the Giants playbook. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button. I also want to let you know that I have a full ebook on this Trio Y Flex. I think this is one of the most... Um, it just gives you a lot of different options that you can do out of this. I think it actually has probably the best spacing out of any formation in the game because you can put your trips to the wide side of the field or to the short side of the field. But you can also use motion to basically create spread formations uh, out of this. So I wanted to give you a route combo that I love out of PA crossers uh, out of the Trio Y Flex in the Giants playbook today. If you want to get my full ebook on this, it's, a, it's available in my Patreon membership. If you haven't signed up for that, the Patreon membership is basically your one-stop shop for everything. Um, I've got 18 offensive and defensive ebooks in the Patreon membership. I've also got a ton of updates to all those guides. Um, the cool part about it is as long as your subscription's active, not only do you get all the updates that we release, which we typically release an update probably two to four times a week in the Patreon membership, but you also will get access to any new and additional guides that we release uh, as, as long as your subscription is active. The cool part is super cheap. Only 10 bucks a month gets you everything. So if you want to sign up for that, there's a link in the description below uh, where you can get access to that. All right, guys, so PA Crossers, one of my favorite plays in the game. Let's take a look at why it's so good. It's really good because um, you get this really deep post route that's really nice. You got a great crosser here to this guy. Um, and then the other reason that makes it so good um, is what you're going to notice here is just the spacing. This guy is flexed out. You can motion him um, to the outside, which I love to do that as well. Uh, it just creates better spacing, uh, which is really something that I value a lot in my offense. All we're going to do from a route combo perspective is we're going to flat the outside slot receiver that's on the line of scrimmage. We're going to slant the inside slot receiver, and we're going to post the tight end. So as you can see here, you're going to post the tight end, who is a slot receiver. So um, you need a slot apprentice there, or I just have Hot Rod Master. Most of you at this point have Dan Marino or the ability to have a Hot Rod Master in your offense. And it's actually very helpful for running the scheme. So what you're going to see here, super smooth little concept. You'll notice that this concept, because of the spacing of this formation, it actually gets really, really open. So against cover four, you see that I can hit the slot, of course, and then against cover four, I'll show you something else with this. Um, you can also, if you see here, this play action animation is super quick, super uh, easy to get in and out of. But look at how deep that tight end post goes. It goes about 20 yards um, or about 30 yards, which is really, really advantageous because because of the location of the tight end, it really does help with the route because what you're going to notice is he's going to get deeper in the defense, uh, which is very, very helpful for us. So again, just slant post, and then you have your deep post over the back side here. So this is a cover three shell. Look at this real quick. The cloud flat's actually going to get sucked down, and you can throw this over the tear over uh, on the other side. So a cover three shell really can't hang with this, or Mabel coverage really can't hang with this. Um, and then uh, let me show you something else about cover three, and that is the slant uh, post. So what you'll see with this deep post is every now and then it will get open against cover three, um, especially if you're on this hash mark. But you'll see here that this slant does have a small little window which you can hit that either in the middle or on the sideline. So you can hit the slant um, against the Mabel concept. Actually, uh, very easily can hit the slant. I'll show you real quick. So the user is going to have to go to the tight end. So if he goes to the tight end, you can throw that right there in easy 10 yards for your offense. And then I want to show you this tight end. Uh, what makes this play so good, really, honestly, two things. The spacing, of course, is one of the things that makes this a really, really good concept. But the second thing that makes this a really good concept is the depth at which this post route is going to run. Um, you'll see here, you see how he just gets right over the top. I mean, he really runs this route deep. And you're going to have a shot um, to at least give him a chance in a one-on-one. -on -one. Um, just a nice sharp cut angle uh, from this route. I'll show it to you again against cover three. It's, and this is We do have a everything beater out of this. If you just streak the slot in this, it'll help it beat everything. But if you take a look here, he's just going to get on top of him. And then if you pass lead it to the right, a lot of times he'll get over the top and you can have a chance for an aggressive catch. If you want to turn this into an easy cover three bomb, just streak the outside or the outside slot. That's all we're doing, just streaking him. What you're going to see is this post just gets on top so easily, 
and you pass it up to the right, and now you have a good shot uh, to hit that over the top. Okay? And then at lastly, against cover two, this is a really good beater uh, for cover two. And what you're going to notice is, again, the spacing really does open up a lot of things for this offense. So cover two typically can stop this tight end post. You'll see over here it actually can't stop this one. So that was cover two with a cloud. He is in the general area, but it's really not in a great position to be able to stop this. I'll show it again. So again, we're just slant post. And what you'll notice is he'll actually get to the side. Pass through that straight up. I didn't. I need to put my, my little flat out there. Sorry about that. So I'll show it to you one more time against cover two, and then we'll move on to um, another route. Obviously, you have a lot of other stuff open against cover two. But what you'll see is oftentimes this route is open on the sideline. As you saw right there on the tight end, it comes open like at the last second on the sideline. So again, I'll just try to get my defensive line to stop going crazy. But what you'll see, and this is something different from trip side in, this isn't the case. Uh, but what you'll see here, see, watch that corner suck inside, and now he goes down, and I can throw this on the sideline. So what this boils down to is now they really have to play you a different, in a different, significantly different way than they would otherwise, okay? And then, of course, the best part about this in terms of how it works against cover two is your deep post over the middle. So high, it gets so high up on the plays, and you see how good of a route that is. So it's going to kill cover two. Um, this is also a really good route for match coverage. And the reason why, and again, we're not going to be able to show it in this example because we don't have an ability on that receiver. But if he has like deep out of lead or short out of lead, he's going to light up against match a lot better because he's going to see how he gets on top. See that right there? And now he's going to split over the top. Gives you a good chance against match. Okay. Um, so let me sub Mike Evans in real quick and show you what I'm talking about. Just to kind of briefly hit on that one little last piece of this, but this is a great little um, this is a great little formation for beating uh, match coverage because the post route in this formation it gets on top of the defense a lot better than the post route from um, say you know whatever say you know trips tight end so you see how he gets on top and then you can throw it over the top okay so you put short out of lead on that guy. Um, you put deep whatever, uh, you're going to have a, a, a decent chance at getting over the top of the defense. Now, again, he is getting double covered, so, you know, you know it's not not perfect. Obviously, your tight end is wide open, of course. But you see, see how he gets on top of it, and then, bam, you can hit this as a nice little shot play against match. So that's another piece of this as to why this is such a good formation. I can't tell you how much I literally just love this tight end right here. Um it really is advantageous. Let me give you another quick route combo, something like this, and they're in cover three. Um, what you'll see is he's just such a but he's, he's he's just in such a better spot, and it allows you to do a lot more uh, with your concepts. So, anyways, that's Trey Y flex, or at least or not Trey Y flex, Trio Y flex. Uh, I like Trio Y flex because it has base out of it, so you can still run base. I think the base is actually significantly better out of Trio Y flex than it is out of trip side in. Uh, because you get better, just better blocking angles and better spacing, so the linebackers have to kind of fan out, uh, which is advantageous. But anyways, I could talk about this formation forever. It's a really good one. If you want to get my full tri uh, trio Y Flex offensive ebook, there's going to be a link in the description below. So if you're still watching this, um, again, remember the Patreon is a really great place um, for many reasons. One of those reasons is because of the fact that whenever you get a Patreon ebook. Um, you get all the updates and you get every ebook. So for ten dollars a month, you unlock all the offensive ebooks, all the defensive ebooks, and you get any updates while your membership is active. So as long as you're a member, you literally just get everything. So if you want to sign up for that, again, there's a link in the description. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link down in the description below.